Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from DazzleDazzleCrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I work in Scotland. Um, I've come on today just to share a wee uh, card with you. I haven't, I've got something in my head, I haven't actually tried it out properly yet. And it's just, I'm going to play with the Daisy Lane set. I'm just going to use two stamps out of this, well possibly a third one because I'll probably put a sentiment on it. So I've taken this little Daisy stamp here and the stem and I'm going to use it. I've got a sponge here, I've got two colours of ink, I've got pear pizzazz and I've got bammy blue. I've got no idea whether this will work properly or not. It'll probably be lovely or it'll be awful. If it turns out awful, well we, I won't be filming, I won't be showing this. So, yeah. so you can you can um, guess that it's probably turned out okay because I'm showing you. So anyway, what I'm going to start off with is a bit of sponging. I'm going to get an old piece of scrap paper in because, because I'm remembering that I'm going to make a mess. So how are you? What have you been up to? Have you been crafting? I'd love to see what people have been making. Do you all know that I have a Pinterest board that you can come and post on if you want to share your makes? I actually think there's a bit of glue on this sponge. It might not, it might not work very well, but we'll see how we go. Actually, it's all right. So I'm just sponging and working. Whoops, see, I've done that again. I keep doing that when I'm working. It's a bend in my card and I don't like that look, but never mind. We'll stick it down firmly so that, that flattens out. So I'm working from the bottom up. I'm not wanting to put, just wanting to put some blue, but I want it to fade out. There's been glue previously on this bit of sponge. It's not doing its. I'm going to change. I'm going to get another bit because it's not really picking up the colour very well. Let's see if we've got. It looks on and dropping them everywhere. It's raining sponges here. See if this one's any better. Yeah. It's fine, but the bits where there was glue on this one just weren't picking up the ink. It is bammy blue, so I'm not looking for a very dark finish here, but just pick up some ink from the pad onto your sponge and just... So keep going. Oh, Janice! Keep going from the bottom. And building it up. I think that's all I need actually. Just a bit of haziness at the bottom, I think, just. And we'll leave it at that, we can always add some later, so. Now I'm going to put in some stalks and then add some flowers. I'm not sure if this stalk is a bit on the big side. If it is, what, what I might do is get do it again and do it with some stocks from the other daisy stamp set. That's if I knew where it was. This daisy stamp set that we already have. Do you know where I might have put it? Oh, I can see it. Daisy Delight. Yeah. We'll see what happens anyway. So, I'm going to kind of add these at a slightly different angles and then maybe Stamp off. And a bit shorter. And then stamped off maybe third there. What do you think? We'll see. And then I'm going to put some heads on with the Bammy Blue. Do you like blue flowers? I like blue flowers and I seem to have been using blue quite a lot so I'm going to have to maybe change what I'm doing here. Mm, no, not really working. Not 
really dark enough, is it? I'm not quite sure if I like this or not. Hmm. No. The stocks are too the stocks are too dark for this blue. Wonder. Wonder if it would work better with a darker blue. And it's okay, but it's just not quite what I was looking for. be better wouldn't it? Oh they're nice. It's a bit better isn't it? Agree with me? Somebody. I think I'll just leave the under... I've, I've, I was thinking right okay I'll go and do it on another piece of card but actually it's okay like that so what I'm going to do is just get the sponge and use this sponge. I did have some light and navy on this one so it will make it a bit darker than the bottom but just to bring the colour up and make it a bit more similar. something similar with a completely different stamp set um, and I do like it better but I can't show you it just now because I'm going to be using it for something so possibly for a bot tutorial so I can't really right that does look a lot better like that doesn't it and what I think I'll do is I'll put might just stamp the sentiment onto this piece I love this stamp set, Daisy Lena. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But if you would like it, I'm sure there's loads because you can punch out both of these. I've got the two punches for these. And I've got loads of cards to show you with them. And this fern is just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'm liking this much better in a deeper colour. It is better. Right, so what will we put as our sentiment here? Will we have smile or friend? Friend. Let's go for friend. I think I did smile the other day with something, so let's... I'm just carried on filming this after something else, so everything's a bit mucky. But anyway, here we go, see what you think. Now I'm actually going to layer this onto a white background and then onto white. Quite hard for me to see if this is straight, but it will be straight enough. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Right. Now, I'll try and make sure I don't get any ink on me. Take this off. Some glue on the back of this. Just, that was a bit too near the edge there. But I'm going to put glue where, do you know where I rubbed it a bit in a not creased it but I bum fold it a bit put a lot of glue in those bits so that they I can smooth that down and they'll stay flat well that's the theory anyway so my next card kit is actually going to be based on this Daisy Lane set this beautiful stamp set and punch it's a bundle so I'm going to 
layer this up onto a slightly bigger piece of white. Let me just because I'm using wet glue so that I can line it up. Turn it upside down, give it a good rub so that it'll the larger piece of card will help this to stay straight. There we go. What do you think? It's actually okay. And the the bammy blue behind that actually just gives the flowers a bit more texture. What do you think? You could, I mean, you could add something for the centre. I'm just going to leave it at like that. And be, at the end of the day, it's just a wee picture of some flowers for a friend, and I'm going to pop it on here. I'm having a bit of a sponging time, but also white on white. That seems to be a thing for me just now as well. I'm using lots of white card. So. I better add some more to my order because I'm going to run out of it because I'm using it so much. But sometimes, I've been using all the colours for a while and sometimes just like a white card base. See what you think. I just think I've not done my card. I didn't. Um, that's better. It's going to light better now. What do you think of that? Well, let me know what you think. Answers on the postcard, please. <laughs> See what you think. I, I'm quite, I think that's quite cool. I really do not. I like kind of sponging in the background. It's like the flowers are just growing wild. Anyway, wild flowers for my wild friend. Thank you so much for watching. Please. please um, subscribe if you haven't already and place, press the bell icon so that you'll you'll get notified when I bring out another um, tutorial. I'd love for you to share this with your friends and help me get to a thousand and also if you want to share what you make on my um, community Pinterest, Pinterest board let me know and I'll get you added. I think I'll just need your email or if you look for me uh, Jazzle Dazzle on Pinterest you might well find me and um, just ask me if you can add to my board and I'll I'll have you added so that you can add your, your projects to share with us. I'd love to see what you get up to. Thank you so much. Speak to you soon.